Hello everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with an amazing deal for you. So, here recently I have decided to research how to get diapers for free. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily researching or, actually it's not researching, I think it was just sort of like a way to, I guess, look at a lot of different store ads, check coupons that I may have or I can obtain, and find ways to be able to shop strategically as to get diapers for free. <gasps> Yay! So um, I will just put this out there. There are going to be two, three personalized coupons that I received and I used. One of the personalized coupon was actually a Catalina. So if you're new to couponing and you don't know what a Catalina is, when you're shopping, you can have a coupon come out on the register. This is not going to be like the, reg the regular cash register. It's going to be a little bitty like white box, right? And it's going to print out coupons. Those are Catalinas. Um, yesterday I went shopping, actually today, and I had some great Catalinas print out. And this woman just didn't give them to me. And I'm like, yeah, give me my Catalinas. In addition to that, sometimes you'll see at the grocery store, especially self-checkout, people will leave Catalinas around. So be on the lookout for those. They are valuable. Um, sometimes Catalinas will be store Catalinas, so they'll indicate uh, CVS or Target. And then other times they will be manufacturer um, Catalinas, and they will stay that stay. I'm telling you guys, this is just like whatever. Um, they will say manufacturer coupon on them. So, you know, really understand you can couple a store coupon with a manufacturer. And I did this in one, um, in one actual part of my transaction. So I was able to maximize on those savings. Now, the other two personalized coupons I received, and this was a CVS shopping trip, one of them was for $10 off of $40. Um, so essentially it is what it says. You spend 40 at CVS and you take $10 off of your transaction. Um, the other coupon that I received was on baby or diapers and it was a $4 off a $20 purchase. So those are the personalized coupons that I received. And I want you to know that if you're new to couponing, you may not have these. However, how this works at CVS, the $10 off of 40 or the 10 off of 30 or whatever it is, you'll just start to receive those once you've signed up for your CVS, um, I guess, card, your extra care card. In addition to that, um, the personalized coupons say that I got the four off of 20. That is something you will receive and it sort of charts your purchase history. So I get a lot of the ones that are $3 off of 10 makeup because I buy makeup. When I started buying diapers, I started to see that I got the diaper coupons. So it sort of um, watches your transactions and prints out coupons that way. So that's, that's one way that you can get these. So don't be discouraged if you're new and you haven't received those types of coupons. You will receive them ultimately. So don't give up. Now, another thing that you can use, and I use this as well, and that is called an in-app coupon. Now, you're only going to get those if you have the CVS app. The CVS app is going to be on any type of smart device, um, cell phones, I guess, because I tried to get it on my tablet and it wouldn't work. So you go to the iStore or the Play State, excuse me, the Google Play Market, and you download it, you sign in, put your, you know, CVS card information in, and every week, maybe not every week, but typically weekly, you get a CVS in-app coupon. So with CVS in-app coupons, like I said, they're specifically towards the apps, and you can use those towards purchases. Okay, now also we have what's called Redbox coupons. Red box coupons print out at the CVS um, little red box that you have there, and they will print out as well. You can only print them one time a week, so um, I typically do mine every Sunday, so that way I get the Sunday coupons. Um, so that was used as well. So there are a bunch of different coupons I've used in this transaction that are CVS coupons, um, and as we discussed, Catalina, CVS Catalina. CVS personalized coupons towards a particular product, 
CVS uh, dollars off of dollars coupons, so 10 off of 40, CVS in-app coupons, and CVS red box coupons. So if you're new, now you have a little bit of a brief explanation of how to do this. If you've done it for a while, you probably know this. If not, okay, so let's start my transaction. This is how I got diapers for free. I don't have any babies, um, so when I get diapers, they're just going to be donations. And it's hard when you're doing donations to spend money out of pocket, um, especially when you do it at a larger scale. So you need to find a way to, you know, kind of minimize your spending. Now, if you're a mommy um, or a daddy with new babies, um, then you need to find a way to save as much as you can. And I can get diapers for free now. So when you can get them for free, you stock up. So uh, CVS has a great deal right now, and it's going to be over. However, CVS deals are on cycles. They will come right back around. So don't worry if you don't have it right now. You will have it again in the future. And the deal was if you spend $30 on select baby products, you get $10 back. If you're new to CVS couponing, they're not giving you $10 cash. They're giving you CVS extra bucks, okay? Those are coupons that you use in the store, all right? So um, they do expire, so make sure you're on top of that. So what the diapers were, they're also on sale, and they're the Huggies Jumbo Diapers. They're on sale for $8.99. So that's already a little bit of a savings. So let's look at some of the diapers, the size. All right, so here we have the Huggies Jumbo um, Little Movers, and it's important when you're buying diapers to look at the actual type of diapers. Um, some of them are, I think, swaddlers or whatever, um, cruisers, so you need to make sure that you're looking at this. Um, on this pack of diapers, as you see here, $5 in coupons. That's awesome. There were ones that didn't have coupons and ones that did have coupons, so make sure you get the ones with coupons. That's with anything you do shopping, you need to make sure that you're looking for bonuses, um, coupons, anything like that that you can get. So ensure that you get those. Make sure you get those. Y'all who don't know me, I'm still recovering from a um, frontal lobe damage here and a concussion. So excuse my boo out thereness. All right. Um, so yes, that's the deal on diapers. So you um, get them at eight ninety nine each. Now, the way that I did this to get 30 was I did the math. If you did not do it, um, get four, you're not going to get to that $30, and you're not going to get extra bucks. It has to be 98% for them to give you extra bucks. So you are far away from that if you get three packs. So I got four packs of diapers. So in my four packs of diapers, um, I got, um, you know, just a bunch of different diapers here. Um, this is going to be just one transaction, so it's not all the transactions I did to get all the diapers I got, um, but I'm just showing you the one for time purpose. So here we go, and as you see, these had $5 too. So I got four packs of diapers, and the total ended up being, with diapers, $35.96. So that's a lot of money, <laughs> right? Even if you just subtract the $10 from that, that's 25 bucks. that's a lot of money. Um, for me, anyways, that's, that's a lot of money. Um, we did receive some coupons in the newspaper. The coupons were relatively specific. Some regions received $2 off of any Huggies Jumbo Diapers. Now, I received those. And in addition to that, I received $2.50 coupons, but they were specific to Little Movers. So I purchased all Little Movers, and I had $2.50 off of each one. Remember, we can use four coupons per transaction, so the total in coupons was $10. Now, I also had a Spend 20 in diapers receive or take off, excuse me, $4. So when we take off the $10 and we take off the $4, that is $21.96. So even if we didn't have any other benefits, that may be a good deal for you to get four packs of diapers. However, you must remember we received the $10 back. So that made every or the entire purchase of four diapers or four packs of diapers $11.96. If you do the math there, they're $2.99 each. That 
is a great deal for diapers. Now it gets even better because I ended up getting them for free, but if you don't have the $10 off of 40 personalized, $2.99, that's a great deal for some diapers, right? Okay, it still is kind of weird that you have to spend money for stuff to like, you know, people to like defecate on it. Well, it's like gross, ain't it? But whatever. Um, so there we have those. Now to maximize and increase my savings, I decided to get something that my children love. And that is Insure. So we had here four pack and I also had this six pack. Okay. Now these right here were on sale on clearance for $2.44. That's a great deal seeing as how they're normally like $10.99 or $11.99. So that was like really good. I had a coupon from insure.com and the coupon was save $3 on any insure multi-pack purchase. So I used two of those. So my total prior to coupons for two uh, packs of insure was $4.88 and I had $6 in coupons. Now let's get this better. I had received from prior purchases a CVS Catalina for $3 off of two multi-pack purposes or per purchases so I had an overage of four dollars and twelve cents CVS if you're new will not give you cash back the only store that I know will give you cash back is Walmart and they need to give you cash back to have to deal with Walmart so all right so not only did I not have to pay anything for my insurers I made four dollars and twelve cents so I'm going to apply that to my diapers. All right, another deal um, that I got this week, and I'm sure everybody did, if you had the app, was the Pepsis. You could have got the Pepsis or the waters. I personally am a diet Cokeaholic, so I don't drink Pepsi, um, but other people in my household do, so this is free. Okay, so they were on sale two for two dollars. Normally they're a dollar ninety nine, um, but they're two for two, and we had a CVS in app coupon for two dollars two dollars off of two. So that makes it free. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so not benefiting me, but it's gonna be benefit somebody. Okay, so that's free. Now I continued to do something that I'm sure everybody did, and that was a CVS red box coupon. Now, the CVS Redbox coupon, like I said, printed out of the Redbox, and it was for $2.50 off of toothpaste. Now, I basically decided that I'm going to put, like, another sin onto the other ones that are already there, and it would should, should would be, thou shall not pay ever for toothpaste. Okay. So 50 cents may be good for you, not good for me. I had a dollar off coupon that was printed off of coupons.com. So that means that this right here, three dollars, because it's on sale from $3.99, it's on three dollars now, minus 250, 50 cents, plus I had a one dollar coupon, so that is a 50 cent money maker, which is also applied to my diapers. Okay, so I had a $10 off of 40 coupon. I continued to buy other items to get to the $40 total, and my total ended up being $46.46. Now, I'll let you know that I got this too because I love Twizzlers, and I always say don't get a piece of candy, but I got a piece of candy, and I'll tell you why I got a piece of candy. Um, but I got this. They were marked down at $0.48, cents, so we'll have that to add to the pile. All right, so my total after the candy is $46.46. We are going to use our coupons. Now, I did use the $10 off of 40 in addition to all the other coupons I used, and that was $38.50 in coupons. That's a lot. So the total remaining balance was $7.98. Now, before um, the candy, it was $7.41, but I wanted to get something as a filler item to get up to $8. The reason I wanted to get up to $8 was that I could pay with $8 in CVS Extra Care Bucks. Um, CVS Extra Care Bucks, as you see, you're getting $10 off your Huggies. Um, so that's what I wanted to do. 
If you give them $8 and you only have a $7.41 um, total, then you're missing out on $0.59. Cents. So that's why I try to get it up to the $8. I ended up getting it up um, $7.96, so I lost four pennies. Fine by me. So I used the $8, and I rem remember I made $10 off of the diapers. So my total out of pocket, actually there's no total, I made $2. So not only did I get so I not only did I get diapers for free, four packs. I got two packs of Ensure, two things of Pepsi, a Colgate, and a pack of Twizzlers. All of that I made two dollars on it. Yay! And for my tax, I use um, what do you call them? Rebates. So I get rebates for free because I don't pay for the product and I make money back on it. Um, so I use my um, rebate card or they come in like a visa I use those to pay for tax so <laughs> I don't pay anything at all so this is a way that you can learn to do couponing to get everything that you need and you can get it for free now I know people may still be a little bit hesitant thinking that you know um, it's such a huge deal it takes so much to get things for free it really doesn't as we see, I just used four coupons, so I didn't have to have some multi amount of, you know, uh, newspapers. So there's just four there. Um, the other coupon was printed. Another came out of a Catalina. So it's not big deals here. Um, there are nothing really, you know, that you need to make an investment. Couponing can cost money at times. Um, you have to work around it and figure out how not to spend money um, couponing. And I'll do a video on how couponing can, you know, incur an expense, or you, how you can incur an expense couponing. But it is definitely worth it, and it is great. So, wonderful deal. If you need any help, I will, you know, do all that I can to give any type of advice or further breakdowns. But I did want to put this out there for you. So if you're a single mama, single papa, if you need to find a way to take care of your babies, this is a way to do it. Thanks, guys. Have a great one, and I will see you next time. Bye!